Hello viewers, welcome to this program on models for effective communication. The process of teaching learning involves interaction between the students and the teachers. Analysis of present status of teaching learning indicates that the age old chalk and talk type of teaching is still popular amongst masses. And the most crucial resource. Although learning can be achieved through spoken words and various forms of print media, they have certain limitations in providing better learning experiences in both an active from the start we can easily understand the and iconic the forms of learning. Teaching learning can be made effective by using various audiovisual aids like models, OHP transparencies, slides, video films, computer aided instruction, etc. In this film, we shall be talking about models and their characteristics. Sometimes in teaching learning situations, the real life material happens to be too small like the molecular composition of compounds or too large such as a peninsula. In such situations, we make use of models or other simulations to explain certain important concepts of the subject matter. A model is basically a three-dimensional representation of the real object, like this model of an air conditioner. Models can be of different sizes. Models may be of the same size as the real object. And we are having a model of a star. Or of a smaller size. Or of a larger size than the real object. Models can be of the working type. or non-working type. Let us now discuss the various types of models that are commonly used in different teaching learning situations. These are solid models, scale models, exact models, cutaway models, transparent models, build up models, working models, etc. We will now discuss each type of model one by one. Let us now discuss the characteristics of solid models taking this example of cold storage. In solid models, the external features are accurately highlighted. Sometimes, general features are also accurately highlighted. These models can be made easily. The other examples of solid models are desert cooler and window air conditioner.
The second type of models are scale models. The main features of these models are that they are either enlarged in size than the original object or reduced in size like this road roller example. This change in size has been done for the convenience of students to understand the subject matter. The other examples of scale models are the globe and water closet. In exact models, every effort is made to reproduce the original object accurately. These are often used as substitutes for highly fragile items. They also depict external features accurately like solid models. Some examples of exact models are human anatomy, human skeleton. Cutaway models are also called cross-sectional models. These models show internal structure of an object. Here, the part of surface of object is removed to show inner details. Some of the examples of cutaway models are cross section of dam, cross drainage work. and spillway gates. The transparent models exhibit the internal and external parts of an object. Here, the outer cover is usually made up of transparent plastic material. For example, in this model of an audio cassette recorder, the mechanism and other components can be seen through this outer transparent plastic cover. Some other examples of transparent models are water cooler, transparent models of buildings. Built up models have removable sections to achieve systematic learning. They demonstrate inner relationships and functions of various parts of the object. For example, this model of a two room house. Here, certain parts of the object can be removed and thereby demonstrate the relationship between other parts of the object. Some other examples of built up models are crystal structure, body centered and face centered, human organ. Working models are designed to show how things function. These are simulation models that help visualizing concepts. Use of color codes enables learner to see 
separate parts clearly. Let's look at a working model of a bulldozer. Some other examples of working models are flasher unit, refrigerator, till now we have discussed various types of models and their characteristics. We shall now discuss their use. The very first use of models is that it overcomes the limitations of size. There are certain things which are too large. Example, large building structures coming up which are beyond our physical grasp. Similarly, there are objects which are too small to be studied effectively. Example, model of crystal structure. The second use of models is, it helps in understanding the inaccessible. In certain situations, models enable us to travel back and forth over hundreds of years. Imaginative models of future buildings can be shown to students to have an idea about how a proposed building may look like. On the other hand, fossils and remains gives us an idea about the type of civilization that would have existed hundreds of years ago. Third use of models is to make the reality usable. There are certain materials which are readily accessible, but teach us very little when we examine them just as they appear. For example, working of human eye. Working of human eye cannot be understood merely by observing it. We can make use of models together with drawings to show the hidden organs or muscles, etc. Another use of models is to help learners understand abstractions. In subject of mathematics, models of cone, cylinder, square, etc. help learner to determine the volume or surface area very easily. Thus we see that models play a vital role in explaining certain important concepts of the subject matter, which are otherwise quite difficult to explain through spoken words or other types of teaching aids.